you made it this far, thank you, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and now I'm gonna give you all of my settings and completely explain them to you guys. So if you want some good controller settings, follow along, I will give you my settings right here. So first of all, we have 120 FPS mode, uh, I have 120 FPS on console, if you can't, you need this, this is very good, it helps you play much better, more frames is just so much better than 60, trust me. Uh, my brightness is at 140 because I play on console and I have shadows, so I want to see stuff, it's kind of hard to see people sometimes so I put my brightness pretty high motion blur turn this off you don't need motion blur it gives you input delay as well so just turn your motion blur off so for my game settings hold to swap pickup I have that off actually some people use it on I know and I just didn't get used to it so I have it off the rest of the stuff it doesn't really matter except auto pick up weapons turn this off you don't want to pick up weapons on accident a lot of people have this on but I don't like it I just don't want to pick up random weapons off the ground and mess with my loadout you can also copy my preferred item slots if you like, but I feel like everyone has their own, everyone has their own preference where they keep their guns. These four building settings, I have them on and I have the last one on both. Reset building choice, you need that on, definitely on controller. Disable pre-edit option, I have that on, but a lot of people play with it off, but I don't really like it. Turbo building, you need this on, trust me. And confirm edits both, why? Because I can just quickly reset my builds like this. Uh, moving on, my tips, I've turned tips off because I don't need any tips. Uh, the rest of the stuff, it doesn't really matter right here. You can copy mine if you would like. And also turn off all your replays, guys. I have my replays on at the moment. I was making some thumbnails, but replays actually give you more input delay because you're recording the game, you're also playing the game. So just turn replays off. You don't want any extra input delay. These are my reticle settings, so if you want the OG numbers and big numbers like I have when I beam someone, you can copy this right here. And my HUD scale is at 65% because I feel like 100 is just too much, it takes up so much of the screen. So I have it on 65 so I can actually see the game. This right here, please turn everything off. You don't want gyro options messing with your game and giving you more input delay, so I have turned everything off. And same goes with keyboard settings, I don't want any extra input delay, so I've turned all the keyboard settings off. So for my controller options, uh, build immediately, you definitely need that. Edit hold time, make this as low as possible if you want to edit faster. My slide is at 200 because I don't want to slide on accident, so I put it a little higher than normal. Rest of the stuff doesn't matter except vibration. Uh, turn your vibration off because vibration can just mess with your aim. I don't know why would you play with vibration on, on so turn your vibration off, guys. So for my sensitivity, build mode is at 2 and edit is at 2.1. And of course, I use advanced options and my horizontal speed and vertical is both 38%. It's not really a fast sensitivity, but I'm kind of fast with it. You know, I've gotten used to it. I'm, I've been using this sense for months. And I've also turned off all the boosts because I don't really like boosts especially on linear i feel like linear is good with no boosts and not a lot of people really use boosts uh, i don't really see anyone using boosts as well my dead zone is at 10 and 12 i don't really go below 10 percent i feel like that is way too fast for me i don't really have stick drift but i still use like a 12 dead zone i feel like i have good crosshair placement with 12 and i think this is a good dead zone for everybody so here are my keybinds they are a little weird and different than normal because i play right hand claw of course and you can copy my keybinds if you want but this is for right hand claw players only as you can see i edit with my triangle and i jump with x and I don't have a lot to say about my keybinds really, that's just what's comfortable for me. So if you want to learn claw or you already play claw, you can use my keybinds of course. If you don't play claw or you play like battles, you can just use my sensitivity and copy the other settings I showed you before. But my keybinds are for claw players only. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the whole video. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I will see you guys next time.